would you do a travel blog under the name of a blog or would you develop a personal brand within the travel space? I would develop a personal brand within the travel space because one of the most important vulnerabilities that people create for themselves is they niche themselves in the world as I'm the Southeast Asia guy and then it's four years later and you wanna be the Europe guy or you wanna be the basketball guy. Building your name is a much, much better way to go. Look what happened with me. If my Twitter handle was wine guy, I would have had to go through that branding transition. And even without that, just being Gary Vaynerchuk, it was tough for me to become a business personality to hundreds of thousands of people because they had me as a wine guy. I always think you develop your name because life is long and this is a forever game. Right, yeah, and, and, and my, my main reason for asking was because it was, it was more of a niche blog. Like I was, I was looking at something like, like Let's Travel America. Yep. Um, and looking at doing, you know, and, and I, about 97%, you know, sure that I wanted to focus on U.S. and domestic travel and stuff. So that's why I was kind of wondering whether to do it under the name or do it like, you know, building. Build your name, build your name, but build up the show name too. I have an Ask Gary V show and this and that. There's Gary V, there's Gary Vaynerchuk. You, this is where people overthink, but I do think your name gives you flexibility. Yeah, yeah, and and, and it's yeah, it's, it's it's been it's been bothering me a lot, and, and well, I it shouldn't bother you anymore. It's over. No more yeah. bothering. Good. I'm good, man. Good, I'm man. Good. Awesome.